Hi friends, welcome back to my channel on statistics. If you are seeing my videos first time, then do subscribe. Let's go to the topic. In this tutorial, I am going to explain introduction to multivariate analysis. Multivariate analysis. Okay. What do you mean by multivariate? In single distribution, we have univariate case. In two, we have bivariate. More than two, we consider as a multivariate. Okay, univariate, bivariate, and multivariate. Okay, this is the case of multivariate analysis when the observations are more than two. So, what is the what are the uses of multivariate analysis? Means there are a lot of uses are there in nowadays in multivariate analysis. If you say if you take Amazon as an example. In Amazon, we all are know that here, when you search any item in website, then when you end up on any website also, it will coming same like this. That is totally artificial intelligence comes under the multivariate analysis. We can discuss step by step and all things also. First, we can see formal introduction of what multivariate analysis. Scientific inquiry is an iterative learning process, objective pertaining to a explanation of social or physical phenomena must be specified and then tested by gathering and analyzing data okay in turn an analysis of the data gathered by experimentation or observation will usually suggest a modified explanation of the phenomena throughout this iterative learning process variables are often added or deleted this is all about introduction this is the formal here where is formal yeah this this book concerned with Statistical method designed to elicit information from these kinds of data sets because the data includes simulation methods of many variables. This body of methodology is called multivariate. Means what is meant? What is meant by multivariate analysis? Means, means dealing with more than two variables or two. We can say if we take the normal distribution in in univariate, it has only it has only two parameters and it when we have bivariate normal distribution we have four five parameters okay like this when you when you have trivariate normal distribution then it will be different case for four variates five it will be difficult but we in multivariate we can solve easily first we can see what are the objectives of multivariate analysis the objective of scientific investigation to which multivariate methods are most naturally and in themselves include the following see data reduction and structural simplification sorting and grouping sorting grouping comes under the amazon okay investigation of the dependence among the variable prediction yeah then hypothesis construction and testing okay first we can see what is the data reduction or structural simplification means the phenomena being studied is represented is simply as possible without sacrificing values information it is hope hope that this will be make interpretation easier okay this is data reduction means we have some data sets when you can do practical examples then you can understand this later on tutorials we are going to explain practical examples and all things also this is sorting grouping we all know this sorting means we can either we can ascending order or descending order time to time all things investigation of the dependency variable production means forecasting all things some of this Hypothesis means we are going to accept or reject all things comes under hypothesis. Now we can see what are the from applications of multivariate here. Also, I will explain data reduction and or simplification. Okay, what is the use of data reduction and simplification means using the data on several variables related to the cancer patients response to radiotherapy. A simple measure of patients response to radiotherapy was constructed. Okay. We will discuss all things also with examples. Also, we have a lot of examples from different different books. Okay, we can discuss these all are the some applications of multivariate analysis the data reduction, then sorting and grouping. We I have a lot of examples from Google, also different different books we can made with slides. Then we will explain. Okay, then investigation of the dependence among the variables, prediction, hypothesis, testing, then descriptive statistics. Here onwards, our statistics started. We all know that descriptive statistics means mean, median, mode, and dispersion, then skewness, kurtosis, correlation, rig, uh, correlation, covariance also comes under the descriptive statistics. 
in general in uni univariate case we all are not formulas and all things also but in multivariates here we are always dealing with vectors and matrices okay let x11 x21 and so on x and 1 be a n measurements on the first variable then arithmetic mean uh, average of the measurements is this is the formula for finding s1 bar equal to 1 upon n into summation j equal to 1 to n xj this is the formula we all know this, this is the formula for mean the sample mean can be computed from the n measurements on the each value of p variables see here p variables so that in general case in generally there will be p sample means so this is the group formula for p samples okay same formula just you can understand the logic it is easy to understand also a sample of spread spread means spread variation at this person comes under the variance we all know this by the sample variance defined for n measurements on the first the first variable this is the formula for variance okay here not we are dealing with sample variance here just variance when you are dealing with sample variance then it will come under unbiasedness n minus 1 will be there into denominator where x1 bar is a sample mean and xj1 in general for p variable this is for p variable cases okay now we can see for co covariance also covariance we all know that expected value of xy into expected value of x into expected value of y expected value of x y minus expected value of x into expected value we can write this also this function also okay this is a general formula for covariance then we have correlation correlation means covariance divided by standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y okay here variables are taking from i and k okay Generally, we take x, y, but here variables are i and k. We all know that correlation coefficient right between minus 1 to plus 1. All things are same. Okay. Now we can see I already I already told you multivariate analysis always deals with vectors and matrices from okay. In multivariate analysis, sample mean x bar. This is the matrix form for x bar, x1 bar, x2 bar, and so on, xp bar. For sample variance and covariance matrix we can say the dispersion matrix dispersion matrix okay this is the dispersion matrix see this value and this value both are similar okay this value this value both are similar okay like this when we did examples we can easily to understand this is a sample correlation matrix here you got one because diagonal elements are one in correlation matrix because what is the formula for correlation means covariance of x divided by standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y okay for example i'm taking here you can observe here covariance is what covariance under x y is x y okay here same values will divide in diagonal elements so you got one here remaining variables remaining all are comes under different different ways okay this is the just introduction video about multivariate analysis from next video onwards we can do lot of examples and all things also thank you for watching multivariate we can represent in graphical way also for two variables you can use plot commands okay plottings all things also we can discuss thank you